Hello again. In the last video, we went over the max punishes. And it was purely focused on that. But now I want to get into the nitty gritty of the moveset. That way you have a better understanding of the flow. And you can build off of those max punishes to keep the pressure on your opponents. We're going to go through all that. Now the Hitto Kiri really isn't that complex of a hero. A little disappointingly so. And I do have some concerns with the moveset. I definitely see some flaws there. Um, with some of the hitboxes and the way the melee moves work. But we're going to go over all that. He's really going to rely on the variable timings of his heavies and his melees in order to force reactions out of people. So let's just go through everything that he has. Starting with his light light chain. The opener is 500 ms. The finisher is also 500 ms. But it has uninterruptible stance and it can be delayed quite a bit. His only other chain is this heavy infinite chain that you see here. Now the benefits are the heavy opener gets uninterruptible stance pretty soon into the animation so you'll be able to do a lot of trades. And any heavy can be used with a variable timing so you can do a raw heavy, a slightly charged heavy, or a fully charged heavy which turns into the blockable that you just saw there. Now his melee moves are branched from his chain starters. So you can do a light attack into a melee or a heavy into a melee. There's two types. There's a kick, which is just tapping the GB button, and a sweep, which is when you hold the GB button. And that guarantees a light. The kick guarantees a heavy, like you see here. Now to recap here, the kick guarantees a heavy. The sweep guarantees a light. Now both of those are considered openers, so you can continue chaining into the melee moves from it. And the heavies in chain still allow you to chain into the kick as you see here. So I did two heavies, still able to go into my sweep kick mix up. Now there are some moves that don't allow you to chain into the melee and I'm going to show you those right now. The first one being the light chain. If you commit to the light finisher, you're not going to be able to flow into the melee. The zone also doesn't allow you to flow into the melee and the dodge heavy also doesn't allow you to flow into the melee. And the same goes for the heavy unblockable. So any chained heavy or heavy opener will work, but the unblockable doesn't allow you to flow into anything. All of these moves are not chain starters. Now in the intro, I mentioned that this hero is gonna rely on all these variable timings in order to be efficient. He doesn't have any good openers. So you can see here, I'm doing quite a few different heavies here. I'm holding it for a little bit. And the unblockable, those can all be fainted. And the same goes for in the chain. You can still keep that variable timing going. You can faint. Now, obviously, a lot of these heavies aren't going to hit, but the variable timing will hopefully allow you to be able to mix some people up. Now, the melee moves themselves are pretty reactable, so the variable timing on those is also going to come into play, and we're going to get into that right now. These in-chain melee moves follow the same rules as the infinite heavy chain in that they have variable timings and they can also be hard fainted. So what you're about to see here is that I'm going to initiate a chain, go into the kick, and now I'm hard fainting it into a GB. And I can also hold the kick for a little bit and still do just a normal kick. Or I can hold it a little while, charge like I'm going for the sweep, and then faint into the GB. So you have quite a few options there, and that's going to be your saving grace because these melee moves are quite slow. They seem easy enough to react to, so the variable timings will keep your opponent honest. Now that you know the rules of the chains, don't forget to branch your max punishes into some of these mix-ups. So you see here I'm getting a heavy parry, which guarantees a light, and I can go immediately into my kick sweep mix-up. Now I imagine this is going to be ripe for back dodging slash back walking. But if you can be a little unpredictable, you should have some success, especially in these first few weeks. These variable timing mix-ups are going to shine the most in out of stamp situations. So don't forget to flow into them whenever you're doing an out of stamp punish, assuming you have the stamina, to really keep the pressure on there and force your opponent into additional mistakes. But on that note, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you found this video useful. Like I said, the Hitto Kiri really isn't that complex, but there were a few things that are worth going over. I'm still hyped for the hero, even though I kind of earlier said I'm a little disappointed. I still wish there was a little bit more going on in the moveset, but the hero looks cool. The executions are badass, and uh, I'm a samurai at heart, so it should be it should be a fun season. I'll be streaming a whole bunch over on my Twitch channel. I'll put a link to that in the description. And I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone who's been subscribing on YouTube. I I know I don't do nearly enough on here. I still don't quite know what I want this channel to be, uh, but as I figure it out, I, I just really want to thank you guys for the support there. It is very much appreciated. And like I said, I spend the majority of my time on Twitch, so I hope to see you guys make the jump over, hang out with us. Uh, but with all that out of the way, best of luck this season, gamers, and I'll see you on the other side. Peace out.